This man seems to have a problem and we might be able to help him. You must be new in town. I don't believe I have had a pleasure of your in introduction. Hello, I'm, gl I'm Amy. Glad to meet you. He seems distracted for a moment before responding. It is a pleasure to meet you, Amy. I'm Chester Miller, the Major of Ashbury. You seem distressed, sir. May I ask what might be the matter? I'm planning a meeting in being held to discuss the building of monument to Lord Bettington, the greatest man ever to come out of Ashbury. We are particular folks around here. If we do something, we try to do it right. Please tell me more. The problem is that everyone is arguing with each other about what to do. As major, I have to find a solution that please everybody. It is impossible. Please continue, I'm always fascinated with local politics. Some people want the monument in the center of the town, others want it near entrance, and nobody knows how, how we will pay for it. Furthermore, there aren't any local craftsmen up to the task of building the damn thing if we could pay. Is there anything I might do to help? You know, talking with you just now has given me idea. It has? Yes, if you are, if you could talk to the crowd, you could know the, the draw them out. Will I take an oath? Being an outsider, you could suggest things that I would never dare. If it works out and you can get them to agree or to something, well then, I'm the major and you were working for me. If it doesn't work out, well. I can always say that you were obviously misinformed. That sounds like quite intriguing proposition. I will do it. Excellent. Follow me into the town hall. Once we get there, you just go right on up the podium and begin talking questions from the crowd. After the meeting is over, we can speak again. I'm ready. Let's just proceed to the meeting. Why should we build monument in the first place? That what I want to know. Can you give us one good reason why we should build this thing? A nice statue is an object of art and virtue for all to appreciate. There have been a lot of suggestions about where to put the monument and improvement might be tastefully accomplished, but we were evenly split between the two groups. Please continue. The first group says that it should go in the town square. The other says it should go in the town entrance. What is the comment? Hierarchal design principles require central location. This uh, is probably half. And where do you propose that uh, we get money? How, how can people of Ashbury afford such luxury? The ladies auxiliary could have sale of baked goods. <laughs> okay. We don't have local artists talented enough to make fine statue, so there is argument about who should receive our commission. If we cannot agree on the sculpture, then the project cannot proceed. Who should you recommend? We can have local labor trained to the job. Why? I mean, honestly, this is the best argument. C, 
since the monument is going to be displayed outside, what m material do you suggest? A delicate... No. A simple statue like all the others that have been made. Okay, so they don't believe me. We wish to honor Ashbury greater son Oliver Barrington with our monument. However, there is no agreement of Oliver has a great speaker and his I I don't know if I did it right. I I probably convinced some. Well, you have made a fine mess of it. I will never build monument now. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> I mean, you cannot have such intelligence. Like, holy shit, they require. Like, you can't do it. Uh, this is why we don't voice play, because you, you see. Instead of doing, like, efforts, like I just did, like, that, that technically were efforts. So if you like speed up Madam, I must thank you for your efforts. I doubt EI could have done much better. Your efforts have uh, revealed the position of my opponents perfectly. There is still much to be done through, so I must be on my way. Good day to you, madam. Yeah, so uh, let's check if I got honorary speaker of Ashbury. <laughs> 